25,000 of Wellington's wartime population packed themselves into Athletic Park this Sunday afternoon to see the United States Marine Corps introduce baseball. Back in the States, they go for the ball game in a big way, and the Leathernecks make it a big day here, all for a good purpose, the patriotic funds. Missed, another ball to go. This one is going to be a googly or something, but it doesn't fool the batter. Off to first base, he won't make it. Yes, he will, no, he won't. He made it. took plenty of hard talking from their own announcer to explain the game for puzzled New Zealanders. But the Americans play baseball and talk baseball with a uh, feverish activity. The game reaches an exciting stage. The scoreboard reads, well, you figure that out. They've been here all the afternoon and she still can't. Now comes the highlight of the game, a perfect strike, a dashing run and brilliant fielding that leaves the crowd breathless with excitement. But if the crowd are breathless, the players aren't, as they make for the umpire for a nice, quiet chat. Do you know that girl still doesn't understand it? Take another look. It's quite simple. Gee, it's just like rounders. A guard of honour provided by the WAPs greeted the Prime Minister when he went to an airdrome to receive a most unusual gift to the Royal New Zealand Air Force. From Mrs McCassey of Dunedin, Mr Fraser received an ambulance sent here from New York in memory of her son, Flying Officer McCassey, killed in action in 1940. The cost of the ambulance was raised in America by his aunt, Mrs Marcia Short of New York. Here Mrs McCassey inspects a gift symbolising American friendliness to New Zealand and commemorating one of the pilots who fought so well in the most difficult days of the war. Modern harbour facilities developed in peacetime are doing good service now that New Zealand is a base for war supplies in the South Pacific. These men are working on a British ship carrying munitions spared to us from the demands of the great European campaigns. The floating crane is lifting 16 tons of heavy tank. More Valentines arrive to reinforce our armoured units. Overseas, these tanks are now outmoded by more heavily armoured models with bigger guns. But for the New Zealand Army, they're still valuable. Up there is 25 tons of metal and machinery. One of the many Matilda tanks now in use here. Their inclusion among our weapons is typical of the great expansion of our armed force during 1942. Their arrival from over the sea is typical of the great assembly of weapons to be used in winning the Battle of the Pacific. <laughs> 